This week on Glass Break, Walter Lieberman will walk us through a piece by Sarah Gilbert. Sarah is one of our very own from the hot shop here at Museum of Glass and a very prolific artist in her own right. I will let Walter tell you a little more about Sarah and her work. Today you'll see the artist Sarah Gilbert make a glass flower sculpture. She will be assisted by Ben Cobb, Gabe Feenan, and Reese Walter. Originally from Rochester, New York, Gilbert took her first glass class in 2000. She received a BFA from the Rochester Institute of Technology. In 2006, she moved out to the Pacific Northwest to work as a member of our team here at the Museum of Glass. Sarah's work has been featured in an international exhibition called Young Glass at the Glass Museum Ebeltoft in Denmark. She has also been featured here at the Museum of Glass in an exhibition called Transparency. Ben is making a bubble of clear glass that will be the interior of Sarah's flower. Gabe has made what we call a color cup. It's a way of putting a layer of color on the outside of a piece of glass. We make what looks like a little bowl. The other glass blower makes a second bubble that goes inside. Ben coats his bubble with hot molten glass. He drips the excess off into that steel can where we'll save it and use that glass again. We take the color cup off the metal rod and place it in a metal stand. And then Ben is going to come over with his bubble and stuff it inside. So the clear glass will be on the inside and the yellow glass, even though it looks orange, will be on the outside. All the colors you see will be distorted by the heat. Now Sarah is making a long bubble. She shapes it with the wet newspaper, a pad of wet newspaper. And this bubble eventually will become the center of the flower. Once this central disc is formed, then we'll begin to add the petals to the flower. Sarah takes the calipers and checks the diameter of the bubble. And now she's discussing with Ben how much of the bubble to use to make the central disc of the flower. Now we're beginning to expand the far end of the bubble to make the central disc. squeezing it with the jacks and they're holding a wooden paddle against the bottom to make it flat. As we make this piece, it's always important to keep the glass around the end of the pipe warm. If that glass gets cold, it'll crack spontaneously and everything will fall on the floor. So as periodically, you'll see them take the torch and heat it up. Sarah has pre-made the petals for the flower. On each of the petals, she's melted on a layer of white glass that she's going to use to engrave later on after the sculpture is finished. So right now, the glass blows are heating up the tips of those pipes and they use them to pick up the petals. When you heat glass up, it gets soft and also gets a little bit sticky. The petals have been preheated in that kiln Two glass blowers stick them up. One we're going to attach. The other one will go into an oven called the garage where it'll be kept warm until we're ready to use it. Okay, 
Ben is putting his bubble into the garage. The garage is an oven that operates at half the temperature of the furnaces. It's hot enough to keep the glass from breaking, but it's not hot enough to make it soft. So whatever goes in there stays warm, retains its shape. We're ready to use it. We pull it out, heat it up a little extra, and stick it on. Now we're attaching the first pedal. Hot glass sticks to hot glass. Sarah's checking the orientation. She'll bust it off the metal pipe, the punty. We're trimming off some excess glass at the tip of the paddle. Gabe's going to go and grab another pedal out of the kiln. Sarah's going to drill a small hole in the stem. The drill is an ordinary electric drill. The bit is a sharpened rod of tungsten. You heat it up till the tungsten glows, and you can drill right into the hot glass. This hole will allow us to inflate the pedals even after they're attached. So we attach the pedal over the hole, we can blow through the pipe, and continue to keep the pedals inflated while we assemble the flower. Gabe grabs another pedal. Sarah cleans up the tip of the pedal using a metal paddle. Once again, we pre-drill a little hole. Attach the pedal. And clean up the tip. Heat it up in the glory hole, try to make it as uniform in temperature as possible. Now we're getting ready to add the fifth and final petal. Score the bubble with a wet file. We'll drip some water where we want it to break off the metal pipe. Give the pipe a tap and carry the finished sculpture to our annealing oven where it will be cooled slowly overnight.